welcome to all in the new lecture that is on continuity of one variable function this is your the last topic of your syllabus here today so now uh, here in this lecture we will discuss about the continuity so what is the continuity actually uh, in the uh, we can say that uh, simply in the simplest simplest form we can say that a continuous function is one whose graph can be drawn without li lifting your pen from the paper so you can see here this is our the graph if we draw the graph that is like that uh, by the pen so here in this to draw this graph our pen is not lifting so this is our the continuous function and here see this graph this graph this is up to from here to here and one break is here after that this graph is this so complete graph is this so this is the discontinuous graph so in a simple way you can say that a continuous function is one whose graph can be drawn without lifting the pen from the paper now the definition of the which you can solve your uh, problems that and verify that your function is continuous or not so that definition is let f be a function and c a real number then f is continuous at c if limit x tends to c f x is equal to f c so this hold the three things here first one is f c must be defined for this second one is limit x tends to c f x must exist and third one is limit of x tends to c f x is equal to f c if these three things will hold then you can say that your function uh, is continuous at x tends to c right so these thing three things must be hold first one is fc must be defined and limit x tends to c fx exist and this limit x tends to c fx is equal to fc it must be there if uh, from these three if one is not hold any one is not hold so you can't say that your function is continuous so all three uh, properties must be hold for your Uh, function will be continuous so now uh, some more properties here of the continuous function function f is said to be continuous on an interval i if f is continuous at each point x in i here is a list of some well known facts related to continuity means if your function is continuous then the sum of continuous functions is continuous the difference of continuous functions is continuous means if you have the two functions so and the, both functions are continuous so their sum must be continuous their difference must be continuous their product must be continuous and the quotient of continuous functions is continuous at all points x where the denominator is not zero the functional composition of continuous functions is continuous at all points x where the composition is properly defined and any polynomial is continuous for all values of x means you have any polynomial any polynomial function is always the continuous and last one thing is any exponential function trigonometrical functions all are continuous for all x so you have to remember this if you have any exponential function or the trigonometrical functions like sin x and cos x these are all continuous right next let's take some examples how to if we have any function then how to show that our function is continuous or not so here we have this uh, function fx check that this function is continuous at x equal to 1 so now function is given that 3x minus 5 if our x is not equal to 
and function value is 2 if x is equal to 1. We have given this function. So now to check that the function is continuous at x equal to 1. So first thing is that uh, what was our first step? Our first condition is that f is defined at x equal to 1. So here you have to check that at x equal to 1 function is defined or not. So you can see that at x equal to 1 what is the value of fx that is 2. So it uh, means uh, when you put x equal to 1. So for x equal to 1 our function value is 2. So we can say that f1 is equal to 2. So now we have a definite uh, a value definite value. So this is our function is defined. Now. For the second uh, condition, we have to find the limit. So when we apply the uh, find the limit x tends to 1 fx. So what is uh, x tends to 1? 1 means not x equal to 1, x tends to 1, x near about 1. So if x not equal to 1, so that is our function is 3x minus 5. So we use here our function value is 3x minus 5. Now when you apply limit, apply here x tends to 1. So you already know how to find the limit of any function. So first you apply the directly the composite uh, substitution method. So when you apply directly, so it become 3 minus 5. So it become minus 2. So now. Uh, f uh, limit x tends to 1 fx is minus 2. So what was our second condition? Second condition is that limit x tends to c fx must be defined. So here you have the minus 2. It, it means that this is defined. F x tends, uh, limit x tends to 1 fx is equal to minus 2. This, this must be defined. But what was the third condition? Third condition was that limit x tends to a fx. This is should be equal to fc. But here you can see that your limit x tends to 1 fx is minus 2 and your f1 is 2. Both are different. Right? So because third condition is not fulfilled here. So you can say that this is not a continuous function at x equal to 1. Clear? Let's take an another example. Here we have to check the function is continuous at x equal to minus 2. And function is given that x square plus 2x when x is less than equal to minus 2. And the function value is x cube minus 6x when x is greater than minus 2. So now check here. First we have to check the first condition according to that we have to check that at uh, x equal to minus 2 our function is defined or not. So when you put here x equal to minus 2 so which which uh, function you have to use here for x equal to minus 2 because this property is here x is equal to minus 2. So x equal to minus 2 you have to take this formula uh, this function fx. So fx is x square plus 2x you have to consider here. So put here x equal to minus 2. So it become minus 2 square plus 2 multiply minus 2. So it becomes 0. So now 0 we have the definite value. So we can say that our fc is uh, defined here. Now we have to check that actually this is we have given that one function is given that less than minus 2 and another function is given that greater than minus 2. So here we need to check the left hand limit and the right hand limit. Right. So first we check the left hand limit. So left hand limit it means that 2 minus means this this sign is represent the left hand limit and when you take the 2 positive that define the right hand limit. So now limit x tends to minus 2 and this just define the left hand limit fx. So le 2 left hand limit it means that 2, mi 2 in power of minus what is defined it that we have to take the function value is less than 2. So less than minus 2 we have function is x square plus 2x. So you have to take the value of fx is x square plus 2x. So now just put here the limit here. So when we apply the directly the limit here minus 2 square plus 2 multiply minus 2. So it becomes 0. So now this is a definite value and our function is exist here. So we say now second thing is that 
now we have to find the right hand limit so check that right hand limit so right hand limit we because we have another function for x is greater than minus 2 so now we consider the right hand limit and right hand limit is my x tends to minus 2 positive positive means that greater than 2 minus 2 so now take the function greater than minus 2 x cube minus 6 x now put here the direct limit minus 2 so it become 4 now for the continuity it must be there and for the not the continuity first when is when your limit will be accessed if your left hand limit is equal to right hand limit then your limit of that function is accessed but here you can see that your left hand limit and right hand limits are not equal left hand limit is 0 and right hand limit is 4 so we can say that our fx doesn't exist at this point x equal to minus 2 x tends to minus 2 fx limit doesn't exist when it is exist if our at that point particular point we can find the definite value or if our case is like that less than and greater than we have an, uh, different functions so in that case we have to check the left hand limit and right hand limit if our left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit then we can say that our limit at this point is not exist right so now here our second step is uh, second condition is not fulfilled here so no need to find check the third condition so we can say that our function is not continuous at x equal to minus 2 clear how to do it okay so let's take another example here we have to check that our function is continuous at x equal to 0 and function fx is given that x minus 6 divided by x minus 3 when x is less than 0 and the function value is 2 when x equal to 0 and fx is square root of 4 plus x square when x is greater than 0. So uh, again you have to check is like that. First we check that our function is uh, defined or not. Or, uh, so here our f at x equal to 0 what is the value of fx that is 2. So we can say that our f0 is 2. So first condition is fulfilled here. Now to check the second condition means limit at x tends to 0 is exist or not. So according uh, for this you have again here given that x is less than 0. We have the different function and for x is greater than 0 we have the different function. So again for check the limit of existence here we use the left hand limit and the right hand limit. So first we check are the left hand limit. So for the left hand limit we take limit x tends to 0 fx and this notation is for the left hand limit means less than 0 function we have to consider here so our less than 0 function is x minus 6 upon x minus 3 now put here the limit x tends to 0 so you will get the value is 2 now check the right hand limit for the right hand limit we have to take that x tends to 0 positive fx means greater than 0 function we have to consider here and for the greater than 0 function, we have the function is square root of 4 plus x square. So now just when you put the limit here, x tends to 0. So you will get square root of 4, that is 2. Now, you see here, your left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, right? So we can say that our limit x tends to 0 fx exists here. That value is 2. Right limit x tends to 0 fx is 2 here because both limit left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit. So we can say that our limit is exist here and that is 2. Now check the third condition and what is the third condition? Third condition is that limit x tends to 0 fx that should be equal to f0. Right? So now your f0 is 2 and limit fx tends to uh, fx x tends to 0 is 2 so both are equal so now our third condition is also fulfilled here so we can say that our function is continuous at x equal to 0 clear so i hope all of you are uh, clear how to find the continuity of any function of one variable function so you try to do the some more questions uh, like that to check the continuity then it will be clear to you so now today's lecture is completed now thank you be happy be healthy and uh, your syllabus is now come
your syllabus is completed now